I work with corals and using the stable oxygen isotopes to figure out what the temperature was 200 years ago, 400 years ago, and even the last thousand years. So to do this, we um, come up with a time series of oxygen isotopes and uh, convert that into temperature and rainfall. And I could tell you about how uh, climate oscillations or climate variability changed over the last thousand years. Um, I particularly look at rainfall um, in the tropics and the tropical rainfall belt or the intertropical convergence zone. So this is part of a large global circulation um, and we're trying to work out how it's changed over the last 400 years and how that is likely to feed into future climate changes as well. So the corals are telling us that rainfall has changed quite dramatically especially in the last 100 years. In the last 100 years, we've seen that rainfall, especially in Northern Australia and Southwestern Australia, has changed dramatically. Northern Australia is getting a lot more rainfall and Southwestern Australia is getting a lot less rainfall. And using the corals, we're trying to track whether this is gonna change uh, significantly again or whether there's, uh, it's, part of a natural variability. We, with a number of other paleoclimatologists, uh, look at, uh, pick up lots of different coral records. So there's coral records all across the globe. So we have a really nice spatial vision of what the coral, what coral's telling us over the last 400 years or so. Um, and we can use this to map what uh, the temperature's doing over that period and it gives us a better baseline of natural variability in the system.